Around half a million Syrians displaced in northern Idlib countryside are at risk in case of a coronavirus outbreak. In a makeshift clinic inside the camp, patients are waiting for a shakeup without protective measures. Dr. Goma Kerr, a general practitioner, said no virus cases have been recorded yet, but in the event of outbreak, the camp has no capacity to treat patients. He reveals that, right now, one device for diagnosing the coronavirus was provided for the whole camp. They need more devices, respiratory systems in case they have some problems. They also need some medical equipment, masks, sterilization devices, and trained staff in case they got a huge number of patients. In the last opposition-held enclave in Syria's northwest, Health officials are cobbling together what little they have to protect 4 million people crammed into a territory buckling under the repeated government offensives. Promises by World Health Organization to deliver ventilators, protection equipments, and other supplies have mostly not materialized. Hundreds of medical facilities have been bombed, mostly in government airstrikes. 70% of the medical personnel have fled the country. Meanwhile, serious Kurds have set up the specialized hospital for coronavirus cases. The Kurdish Risk Crescent said Monday after the first COVID-19 death was reported in the northeastern region. The United Nations on Friday said a man aged in his 50s had on April the 2nd become the first fatality from COVID-19 in northeast Syria. In a region suffering from a lack of medical supplies, the news further raised fears of a breakout, including in its thronging camps for the displaced. Kurdish Red Crescent co-director Sharon Berry said a new 120-bed facility was now ready to welcome any moderate cases of the virus around 10 kilometers outside the city of Hasake. He also said the hospital is to just focus on the COVID-19 infection cases and keep them all in the same place instead of across different hospitals. According to the latest update, Syria have 39 confirmed cases, 5 recovered and 3 deaths from COVID-19. It will take more than a nationwide ceasefire to prevent a COVID-19 disaster in Syria. The World Health Organization hopefully will be able to coordinate a response with government and non-state groups that addresses all of Syria's medical needs despite the country's political fragmentation. Otherwise, regions outside of government-held areas will be underprepared to face the crisis.